Coco. What's up? Mummy's cooking. Oh no, not again. He literally stuck his face in a bowl of oil earlier today and he was licking it off for ages. You didn't learn, did you? Hmm? I honestly wasn't listening to her nagging at me, but subscribe to Munchkin. Hi guys, what's up? It's Wenji. Today, I have a confession to make. I've been eating a lot of food. It's been pretty bad. I do have a gym room that I should be using more often. But anyways, let's make my issue work by checking out internet's most viral recipes. Welcome back to Cooking with Wenji. Let's go. Oh, we're making a Nescafe cake. Looks like tiramisu, guys. Oh, that looks so good. All right, so we're using... Oh, whipped topping. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. Okay, we're making the coffee. You know what? Max's favorite dessert is actually tiramisu. That whipped icing thing. Oh, that looks bomb. That's it? We don't... We're not, are we... Do we bake tiramisu, guys? Oh, no, we don't, we don't. This is how much I know about making dessert. But that looks really good. We trying it. Unfortunately, we couldn't find Cool Whip, so we got some whipped cream. We're gonna make our own version. Oh yeah. So we got our whipped cream. We got our condensed milk. So let's pop it in. Guys, I love mixing condensed milk. Mmm. I think I got some uh, whipped cream on the camera lens. We're gonna make our coffee now. Got my Nescafe, guys. Nescafe is like coffee I started off drinking. Mix our Nescafe to taste. Hot water goes in. We got our honey made graham crackers. Mm, I love me some graham crackers. Pour it in so we can dip our graham crackers. That don't look good. You know one thing about graham crackers? I get really sad if they're like broken in the packaging. That's like the first thing I check. There's some casualties on this pack, so we're gonna go with this pack first. Oh, that's nice. Oh, Okay, don't leave them in for too long. We're doing it real quick. Okay, I get it out. There we go. Learn from my mistakes. Okay, we're gonna put a layer of whipped cream now. Oh, the cream got super liquidy. We're just gonna keep layering them until we're done. All right, guys, I ended up topping it with some whipped cream because I ran out of my whipped cream mixture. I think that's a good twist to this recipe. And now I'm going to sift the cocoa powder. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, we made our first Nescafe tiramisu. We're going to pop it in the fridge. I can't wait to taste this. All right, guys, my tiramisu is out of the fridge. Oh, that's a lot of cream. Okay, let's try this. It's okay. It's not the best. I've had better tiramisu. The downfall of this is probably the whipped cream. If you didn't have Cool Whip, you could actually just whip normal cream so it's like a bit stiffer. For what I did, it's just a little bit too liquid. But it has so much potential, guys. Like, definitely try it. Grapes, we're mashing the grapes. Putting ice and Sprite and a lemon mint leaf, grape juice. What is, what are they making? Oh, is this grape Fanta? Let's try it out, it looks bomb. Is this what like wine makers do? They do it with their feet though. Oh yeah, I think they do it with their feet, ew. Good thing you're allergic. <laughs> allergic to alcohol. Probably saved me from many mistakes in my life. The fact that I'm allergic to alcohol. Kind of weird, have you guys ever seen mashed grapes? Kind of gross. All right, we got a little mushy texture. Now put some ice. Oh, I love that sound. And then we're popping some mint. He uses like little tweezers. I can't be bothered. Okay, I'm gonna push the lemon in. Get all the flavor out. Finally, we're gonna use some grape juice, guys. Ooh, that looks cute. Look at this, summer drink. Even though it's end of summer. I gotta try this. Oh, that's good. Does it taste like grape fanta? Not really. It's close. One of my new favorite drinks. This tastes so good. You have to try it. I'm just mind blown right now with happiness. All right, we have a banana. We're gonna mash the man. Smash the banana. Flour, baking soda. We're gonna mix it. Ew, that banana looks kind of gross. It looks like it just like came out with so much like, what? Why are we frying them? Oh, guys, a donut mochi? That looks like fried chicken. When I go to America, all my LA friends called mochi mochi, but it's actually mochi because in Japanese, O is an O sound, not an O sound. That's an English pronunciation. So just FYI, in case you guys want to know. So we have this perfect looking banana. I hardly any black spots. The shape is great. The top nib is like very square. Oh yeah. 
guys, we're gonna pop this aside. We now are gonna make our base mixture. One cup of flour. This yogurt looks <laughs> really gross. This is a half a tablespoon of baking soda. And then we mix, mix, mix. And if your yogurt is unsweetened, you need to add some sugar. We're gonna mix the banana in now. There we go. This smells good though. Time to deep fry. All right, oil. Our first dollop of donut. Oh, oh yeah, that's not round, but that's okay. We can do better next time. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is cool. Getting kind of proud of myself right now. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay guys, the final step, some icing sugar on top. Oh wow, look. Look how fluffy it is inside. Texture is great. It was so easy to make. I can taste the banana. I'm not hating it. I can eat banana if it's made this way. Mmm. Some cake cookies. We be mashing some Oreos with the cream. Oh no, wait, they just didn't scrape it off properly. I see. Oh, we got flour, we got egg, we got a kind of cookie batter. We're gonna mix it. This looks like chocolate chip cookies, but with Oreos. This looks kind of complicated. I'm used to recipes being like easier. Oh, we're putting them into a bowl like you would do any cookie. Yeah, I'm sold. We are trying this. We are ready to cook. We got our 16 Oreos, two eggs, half a cup of vegetable oil, and some Betty Crocker cake mix. If you guys haven't checked out us making a giant Oreo, you should totally do it. All right, guys, you can't mash Oreos without accidents. accidents. So we're gonna go and make the cake mix now. I'm reading the instructions and these ingredients are not the same, so we're just gonna ignore this. Welcome back to Cooking with Wenji. I got told there were scissors over there, which I didn't see. Anyways, we're gonna pop these eggs into the mixture. We have our half a cup of vegetable oil. Slimy. So guys, you're supposed to use like white cake mix, but I went a little bit creative and I'm using this rainbow confetti because it's just so much cuter. What do you think, guys? This is the moment I've been waiting for. I get to pour the Oreos in. Oh my gosh. Wow, why am I so excited about this? I don't know, I just am. I also think I have way too much Oreo for this mixture. Time to put it in the fridge. All right guys, the chilled batter is ready. Let's make it into a bowl. A oh, this is quite solid. It almost feels like ice cream. This is my cute angle. The lighting apparently is very good here. So I'm gonna do this slowly so you can enjoy. Okay, oh guys. These look so good. Oh my God, it feels so soft, like it's gonna break, look. Oh, it's really sweet. It is so sweet. Okay, if you love cake mix and you just want that crispy surface of, you know, like the bread and the cake, this is perfect for you guys. Oh, we got some weird looking carrots. Oh, we're gonna peel strips. When I was younger, I used to love peeling carrots. I don't know, it's just very satisfying. Taking these carrot strips. Whoa, liquid smoke. I've never tried that before. That's like a weird thing. So how do they get like that smoked flavor in food? You mean it's not actual smoke? Okay, I mean, guys, this looks pretty horrible. We're just mixing like peeled carrots in this weird brown sauce. Oh, guys. This is carrot bacon. Probably gonna help me on my diet journey for sure. So I gotta see if this actually tastes decent. I'm gonna... Coco? Coco? Uh, mommy's filming Coco. I'm hoping this tastes like real bacon. That would literally save me a lot of calories. Okay, I'm taking him out of that bag. So first of all, we're gonna take off the first layer of carrot. Oh, this peeler is smooth. You push it down super hard, I think, to make like the bacon strip. Oh, there we go. It kind of is kind of shaped like bacon. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very impressed. Now we're gonna make the sauce. So she didn't exactly tell us how much to use of each. So also, we couldn't find liquid smoke, which I'm very sad about because it looked amazing and I really wanted to try it. I have garlic powder, onion powder, and smoked paprika. I'm hoping this smokedness in the paprika is gonna make up for me not getting liquid soap and plus the recipes online said to use this and of course maple syrup i'm also gonna add some salt for seasoning because why not garlic powder onion powder get some smoked paprika there we go and then some maple syrup and then i'm just gonna do a pinch of salt i like my things salty you know all right you know what since we don't have liquid smoke maybe i just add some hot water this looks very different but we're gonna run with it duncan my carrots in i don't know how much i'm supposed to cover with this her one looked way better than this i don't know what happened have our first piece of bacon
All right, this is going into the oven. All right, become bacon. All right, guys, look. Okay, so it's slightly burnt, but you know what? We don't have liquid smoke, so I made like real life burn. All right, I'm gonna taste it. Mmm, ooh, crunchy. Doesn't exactly taste like bacon, but it tastes like a really, really, really good carrot chip. So guys, did you remember my bacon chips and what they looked like before? This is what I did to them. Yeah, I got, I lost track of time. Should have put on an alarm. Now I know better. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed going through these viral internet recipes. Let me know which ones you are gonna try at home yourself. You want more cooking with Linji? Let me know down below. We'll do more of these, cause you know, I like being in the kitchen. It's actually kind of fun. All right, guys, love you so much. Check out my music channel. I release original music there and follow me on social media and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, I love you. Mwah.